Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this uh, November the 13th. I hope everybody had a great uh, November 11th as we celebrated Veterans Day. And uh, just happened to celebrate my son's birthday on yes, Veterans Day. He right. always wondered when he was young. Happy birthday, Jason. Yeah, he, yeah, he always wondered why they closed the post office and had all the flags <laughs> and everything out on his birthday. You know, and but, thank uh, you f- to all the veterans yes, that yeah. provides the freedom we so enjoy. Sure thing. Well, we're going to talk about right now for the next three segments on Outdoors with Larry. Hey, Rapp. you know what, Larry? What? I'll bet you it is beautiful right now. The trees turning colors. Yeah, we were about a week oh. or too too late uh, but they were starting, early i think i mean too early but uh, uh ron and myself along with the tennessee outdoor riders association spent three wonderful days recently at uh, dale hollow marina and dale hollow marina at cedar hill and our host was uh the man himself the owner himself Danny Wilbert and his wife, Mary, and we had a wonderful time. Absolutely. And we're going to kind of give you folks a little preview uh, of what's going on. It's only five and a half hours, a great drive. Yeah. Straight up the interstate, take a right, a left, excuse me, and go up the, the 53 50, or 52. 53. Uh, all the 53. way into Salina, Tennessee. And, and go to the sign that yeah. says, Dale Hollow Marina. You can't miss it. And we got Danny Wilbert on with us this morning. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, guys. <laughs> All right. Now, you told our folks when we were up there, transplanted Louis- from Louisville, came down. Uh, you love to fish and you love to do all these different kind of things. You fell in love, and you were telling me that Dale Hollow Lake is a special place. So talk about how you got there, and a little bit about the resort itself. Okay. I first got here when I was six years old. Uh, friends of ours across the street yes. were transplants from Tompkinsville. Moved up to Louisville to work at the Ford plant. They were friends of my dad. They would take us down here. We would vacation, and uh, I just fell in love with this place at a young age. I told my mom when I was uh, 10 years old I was going to buy her Cedar Hill. And uh, didn't know it came true until she reminded me a year before her death. Because you, remind, you remember telling me when you were 10, I was going to really? buy that for you. And I said, well, there you are, Mom. It's yours. It's yours. And, and, and but, you, uh, you've, yeah, and you've done this now with uh, technically two marinas. But at the same time, uh, you were in uh, another business for a long time. Tell our listeners, correct, what, I, what did you do in real life for a while there? My real job, I was an electrician by trade, and then we got into the cell tire business in the mid-'90s yes. and traveled all over the United States. And, uh, we carried a boat with us everywhere we went because everywhere we went, we were close to a lake so we could fish. And we, yeah. we visited all the lakes. Well, what's 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 special, and Ron will tell you this, what's special about Dale Holla for uh, Denny Wilbert? It's, it's just the beauty and the peace, remoteness of this place. Uh, it just it's uh, just unspoiled. You can see very little. There's no development on the shoreline. There, there's some houses up you can see every once in a while from the top, but it is just, it looks the same to me as it did in 1964. We've got home movies, and it looks exactly the same. You can't say that for a lot of lakes. Yeah. Hey, Denny, uh, Dale Hollow Marina and Dale Hollow Marina at Cedar Hill, tell all of our listeners what you guys offer to visitors yes. and guests. Yeah. Okay, first and foremost, we're a family operation, uh, so we have tremendous health, uh, hospitality. We yeah. treat everybody like you're our best friend. Yeah. And uh, we have houseboats to rent. We have 13 houseboats. 13 houseboats. Wow. <laughs> uh, six pontoon boats. We have over uh, 30 cabins, and we have 10 uh, motel rooms, and we have uh, some little, call, what's new, is called fishing cabins. So yes. Open concept room, one room cabins with uh, two beds, a full bathroom, and a kitchenette. They're really popular. Yeah. We've also got just added a floating cabin. Our first floating cabin is complete. It's two stories, four bedrooms, two full baths. <laughs> wow. So we can accommodate about anything you were looking for. And, you know, you guys not only have all of that, uh, but, you know, you're about five minutes from Salina, Tennessee, um, 
and they got some great places to eat there. And oh, here he places goes. To he's visit talking there. food already. You know, he's talking food, Denny. It don't take him long. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've already no, mentioned it four times, and we're not even halfway through the show yet. Yeah, right. I mean, the man knows his food, okay? so uh, he, he does know his food. He's a heck of a chef in his own mark. Uh, <laughs> yes, he is. He, he's cooked for us when we had the uh, Brush Pile Fishing Conference down here last year. Man, he was He can do he it, was Danny. All over it. Now, let, let's don't yes, get sir. him going too much on that. But we know <laughs> okay. that you guys – are in the, listen to this, folks, Clay County ranks 92nd yes. in population in the state of Tennessee. A little over 7,000 people. Yeah. But you guys. We are remote. Yes, you are remote, but you got so many stories to tell over there, and it's such an uh, easy drive. Now, you started out with Dale Hollow Marina, and then you hooked up with Cedar Hill, right? I mean, that's the way that I understand. That is correct. And, and that's na- correct. And now... It's ever expanding. I mean, you're working today. I know probably on boat slips you had a waiting list for boat slips. How many boat slips do you have now? Right now at Cedar Hill, we've got about 320. We're adding another 120 this winter. We're huh. going to get to where we've got 600 at Cedar Hill. We've got about 180 at Dale Hollow. We're maxed out at Dale Hollow. Did y'all hear that? Maxed out. And so, so, you know, by the way... Um, that's a waiting list, Ron. Uh, I got to tell yeah, we've you... we've got so. about 200 people on the waiting list right now, so... And they take good care of the stuff also. I, I have to tell you, it's a very well sheltered uh, around both of the oh, yeah, I didn't there. Yeah, and, yeah, I didn't see any... Uh, in, in too many cell tires, Denny. I didn't see a cell tire. I mean, I would thought there would be one on the property. <laughs> Maybe it's you. They, uh, it's you by the bill. Close by. But they're close, they're close, by. They're close enough, but they're, they're far enough away. If you want to get away from them and not have a cell phone, or I can, cell phone work, I can tell you where to go. Yeah. Denny, also, you know, at both of the marinas, you have full service uh, stores. Also, you have live bait and everything else. Yeah. Tell our listeners what all you offer there at your stores. Yeah, we've got a full tackle shop at Dale Hollow right now that's got any kind of tackle rods and reels. We can set mm-hmm. you up and help you out if you're short or something or you find out they're biting on what we've got. We've got them for you. Uh, we have live bait. As you said, we have uh, fish snacks. We don't have any restaurants available over here, but they're so close in town. that Salina, we here, Salina will take care of that, okay? They will definitely take care of that. Yeah, Salina will but, take uh, care of that. And you're right just five minutes from Salina, and, and folks uh, – I was really surprised when I asked you, Denny, uh, what state do most people come to when they're coming to Dale Hollow? Where do they come from? Majority of our visitors at this end of the lake are out of the Indianapolis area. Indiana. Uh, yeah. Indianapolis, Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. We've really tapped into the Michigan market recently, and we've also got a strong showing from Ohio. And, the, and one of the drawing points, folks, is not only is Dale Hollow a beautiful lake, there's so much beauty around the lake, mm-hmm. but at the same time, and we're going to talk to Corey Thomas on the next segment. We don't want to steal Corey's thunder, but Ron knows <laughs> th- this lake. Uh, I mean, if you say Billy Westmoreland, Ron, where do you think? I mean, Smallmouth fishing. <laughs> but you- I have to tell you something, at which, you know, yeah, we're going to talk to Corey, but I want to ask Denny a question. Denny, I understand you are uh, organizing a big, big crappie tournament. Corey Thomas won't be fishing. He's going to be helping you tell our listeners about what you've got in plans and when is it going to happen. Okay, the the guys from Northeast Crappie um, Association, they came down and approached me with this recently, and they're putting together a tournament next November. Uh, that was just on Facebook Live, so look that up at uh, yes, crappie, yeah. Northeast Crappie. And uh, they announced it, and they're going to have 150 boats, invitation only. And we're going to have a – we've got the convention center in Salina set up. We're going to do a trade show there. We're going to have a wow. booth outside for food. Okay, we're going right. to have a real nice program for this thing. And this is what we got around to, crappie fishing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is uh, a real drawing point for you guys, right? I mean, uh, it's a, it was a hidden secret for a few years, but uh, between myself and Corey, we let the cat out of the bag, and a couple of shows <laughs> of brush pile fishing got on there, and but it, it, it took off. We're really uh, doing well with the property. Well, all you got to do is Google uh, Dale Holland Marina or, or Corey Thomas and see some of those brush pile on YouTube or whatever it might be, 
and and know that the crappie are there and, and the and you have a chance to catch some big ones, but uh, at the same time the hospitality is is is, is unlimited. Yeah, it's second to none. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And, uh, Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. You know, and I look forward to. Uh, I've we're coming very, back. We're I've, coming. I've been fortunate. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, we're I've been coming. fortunate that. to yeah. be up there twice this year right. already. Oh, so you're one ahead of me. And okay. I'm looking forward to March of 2022 because I got an invite to go back. Whoa, All you right. got an invite <laughs> to go back, huh? I, been, been. Yeah, I think brush pile fishing is going to be back. Oh, you think they're going to be, be back? Okay, well, I got to oh, ask. Yeah. They're I'll definitely ask. coming back. Well, I'm going to come back and eat at Ollie's one more time, okay? <laughs> All right. You're uh, welcome. I'm, You're welcome anytime. I'm, I'll, I'll go with you this time. Oh, well, now, I did spend, uh, <laughs> I'm going to write a thing, Denny, about my two hours with Denny, okay? <laughs> uh, and mostly it was two hours with Tom Atkinson, you know, because I never, I, I don't, Denny, I don't think, Ron, I got my real first experience, you know, with Lyscope on Denny's boat yeah. there. Yeah. And, and, you know, I feel like Jack Elam in the old cowboy. One eye was looking at the graft all the time. <laughs> the other eye was looking at the water, you know. And I, 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 it was just an amazing thing, folks, to have a chance to see that on yeah. this beautiful lake. And, of course, uh, uh, the, the Denny had it all set up. A bald eagle flew overhead. I thought it was a heron. They thought I was crazy. <laughs> but, you know, a bald eagle flew right over us. So, yeah. uh so tell them, how, Denny, how they can get in touch with you guys. Where do they go to get information? They can go to DaleHollowMarina.com or DaleHollow at CedarHill.com and, or look, call us at 931-243-3201 or 931-243-2211. And we got all this on Outdoors Delary, LROutdoors.com, where you can find all of Ron Wong's pictures. Uh, from the last 2,800 years on there, you know. But anyway, Denny, thank you, buddy. Look forward to talking to you again and uh, tell everybody hello for us. And uh, I hope that young lady just got married. She finally got to go on a honeymoon, okay? If you do that, <laughs> okay, t- thank you, guys. All Look right, forward guys. to seeing you again. We'll see you Talk down the road. You, All right, let's take a All break right, on Outdoors. Larry Ray be right back. Mm-hmm. 